Good morning, everyone. Hey, so hopefully you guys can hear me and you're not getting too much echo. Uh, I don't have my road mic. I let my father borrow it for a little bit. So I'm using my little lapel mic that was one of my beginning mics. So hopefully, you know, you can hear me better. Anyways, so I just wanted to show you guys this mask. Not that it's a new discovery, but what happened to it. So you, as you can see, it's this beautiful blue color right on the inside. No big deal. So this was the mask that I used to paint my Lord of Change. Uh, and when I painted that Lord of Change, I used nail polish. Uh, and I'll link the video to that uh, if you guys want to see that. Um, but I use this, this really uh, marbly kind of uh, glossy, shiny, reflective, whatever you want to call it, nail polish um, to do it. And I wore this mask, and thank God I did. Because as you can see, it's blue on the inside. But on this side, it's purple. That means that the mask did its job. Uh, so basically, these little masks, you can get them for like 97 cents or $1.90 or something like that for five of them at Walmart. Um, this is not the best option for you to use. Uh, but it was cheap and it was available for, available to me at the time. The preferable thing is it's like almost like a gas mask, literally. Um, it's got a little H pad or whatever, H back, HVC, whatever. Um, I can't remember the name of it, the little acronym. But it's a, uh, those are preferable and they look like a gas mask and they have a removable filter and it literally filters almost like 99% of everything. This right here is a uh, just for general use weed eating gar gardening whatever keep allergens and like little particles or sawdust or something out and it actually did a pretty stinking good job of keeping most of the paint particles out of my lungs um, which is something i don't want to do especially with nail polish um and probably just any paint in general but um because you know granted at the time kind of like smoking um you don't think anything of it, Every, you know, oh, hey, it doesn't matter, but, you know, let's say I war game for the next 15, 20 years or something like that, or if you smoke for 15, 20 years and all that time goes by and you get older and you either develop lung cancer or COPD or something like that along the lines of that uh, due to damage to your lungs just because you were putting these aerosol chemicals into your lungs without knowing it. Uh, so just to show you that these actually are still pretty good. Uh, keeping a small portion out um, so uh, the little blue parts kind of where it was pressed into my face where hopefully no air was flowing through I'm assuming and then where I was sucking in air was where the purple air is so uh, as you can see it did a pretty good job there's a tiny tiny purple tint but I don't know if that's because this is so thin and you can see through it or if it was actually starting to soak through at the time I did paint with this mask for about four or five days straight uh, but yeah, this thing probably did, uh, did me a service and hopefully kept some of the crap out of my lungs. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you that and show you that these are actually worth using. Uh, this is when I was airbrushing. Uh, I'd use it whenever you use a rattle can, anything. Um, I'll also link a little machine that someone built, uh, on Amazon and it's meant for airbrushing. It's a little station and it's got a little filter kind of like this, but it's much thicker. And uh, it's got a fan that causes a suction on the other side of that filter and it sucks all the excess paint uh, from the air right into that filter. So yeah, I'll link that and uh, I'll probably link one of the little, the better, more filterable masks. But um, yeah, this worked pretty well for now and uh, until I can get something nicer, this is probably what I'll use. But just a heads up, make sure you guys are wearing something like this. Be safe, take care of your lungs. Um, because stuff like COB, COPD, lung cancer, things like that get pretty ugly pretty fast later in life. So uh, take care of your body now and enjoy the wargaming forever. So anyways, guys, have a nice day. Take care of yourself. Bye.